Joining us to discuss Betsy Grasick, uh, Morgan Stanley's US large cap banks analyst and the global head of banks and diversified finance research. Betsy, good to see you. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Will, for having me on. So, so first big picture question, to, to what extent have uh, share prices and also expectations risen a little bit too much over the last few months, not the last few weeks, perhaps, uh, where share prices have pulled back a bit, such that it's quite a hard setup this earnings season? Oh, Will, that's a great question, but I have a slightly different point of view. I think that we are going to see bank earnings beat consensus. We're sitting here, you know, several percentage points above consensus in our outlook. And our expectation is that it's much more likely that our estimates are beat uh, rather than the other way around. And, and your particular focus is towards consumer reopening names, e even if the investment banks that did so well last year might have a good quarter too. Yeah, that's right. Um, look, there is um, many different cylinders that are firing here. And, you know, I've been looking at this group for many years, in particular, you know, U.S. large cap banks, about, you know, almost 20 years. And I have never entered an earnings season where there is so much positive going on. And in particular, it's around, a, you know, a, a handful of things. Number one, Consumer credit, fantastically good. Yes, stimulus is part of that reason. Consumers have also been very prudent with how they've been receiving prior stimulus. And as you know, the jobs numbers have been improving here for the last several months. So we are looking at consumer lending and consumer uh, credit being in very good shape. Um, in addition, we expect that that will drive bigger reserve releases than we have currently put into our um, you know, models. And as a result, we get sooner, uh, we get faster buybacks sooner. So putting all those things together, I think we'll see an uplift in the outlook for EPS as we move through this earnings season, most particularly to your point in consumer finance. Um, but then also the capital markets, as you know, is very strong and our trading numbers we have trading estimates up at about 10 to 15 percent, depending on what company we're talking about year on year. We entered this year looking for trading to be down year on year. But but that's been a turnaround in our view this past quarter. So, Betsy, particularly within the consumer finance area that you like, which names look cheapest relative to your great expectations? <laughs> so on our outlook, our two top picks going into the quarter, Synchrony Financial as well as Capital One. There's about 12 to 15 percent upside in those names for our base case. For our bull case, it's closer to 25 to 35 percent. And I do think the direction of travel here is towards the bull case. I think we could end up with our outlook for 2023 estimates coming sooner in 2022. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.